Okay. Here we go. You know, one of these days, I'm going to edit out the part where I walk in to the videos. <laughs> that day is not today. <laughs> He's crazy. Um, Soap Bubble Boca. I don't know if uh, you folks are familiar with... Uh, yeah, you, you are familiar with Soap Bubble Boca. Some people hate it, and I think those people are absolutely crazy. Um, I'm going to do a video on Tuesday or Wednesday on the three best Soap Bubble Boca lenses in the world. Unfortunately, they're extremely hard to find. I have some examples here of really affordable and easy to find awesome soap bubble boca lenses. Those three that I'm going to mention in a video on Tuesday or Wednesday are the best, but they're absolutely impossible to find. There's only two choices for getting the three best soap bubble boca lenses. One is buying a really crusty old uh, lens. Um, they're Meyer Optic Gerlitz lenses, by the way, from... Uh, you know, older than your great grandfather, and yeah, they're they're stiff. The grease in them's dried up. There's usually haze, mold, and fungus. It's a problem. And the other option is getting one of the remakes from Meyer Optic Gerlitz, which are insanely expensive. They're thirteen hundred dollars to sixteen hundred dollars. I have those three lenses: um, the Trio Plan, the Primo Plan, and the other Trio Plan. Uh, Trio Plan uh, 50 millimeter 2.9. That's the uh, the other one. Anyway, these are uh, really affordable um, and easy to find. Uh, soap bubble vocal lenses. I kind of hate dragging out lenses all the time. Every time I talk about lenses, I gotta like sort through hundreds and hundreds of lenses. I, I know where they are. I can usually find them right off. Um, but these are great. They're uh, a couple of them are as equal, nearly equal to uh, the Meyer Optic Gerlitz, and uh, they're really cheap. Only one of them is radioactive. Another one is optionally radioactive, depending on which version you get. Uh, this one's radioactive. Let's first start off, and this lens is really cheap, and there's a crap load of them on eBay. This is the uh, Takamar, the 55mm uh, f1.8, or the f2. The f2 is cheaper and just as good. I don't recommend getting the f1.8 because you're not getting anything extra. This is the 1.8. I got a bunch of the f2s back there. I just, like, grabbed one because they're all in a pile. But it's the 55mm F2 Takamar. It is radioactive. It's an M42 mount. Um, amazing lens. It's actually really sharp. And the soap bubble bouquet on it is divine. And it is a really cheap lens. And they're all the hell over the place. This is uh, the easiest to find and the cheapest. Um, I think I got seven or eight copies of this lens. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the Pentacon. It's also, you can find it under the Oriston. It's the Pentacon 50mm f1.8. An amazing lens. They average 35 to 50 bucks all day long. They're all over the interwebs. People say interwebs now instead of internet, just as a funny thing. That's the Pentacon 50mm f1.8. Uh, really an amazing lens. You need to learn how to actually use these lenses properly. To, you, you have to see. It's like, yeah, this would make a great bubble bokeh background. There is a trick to nailing bubble bokeh. And, you know, it'd take you a day to teach yourself what to look for. Because when you start looking around, you know, you can't see it. You have to be able to see what it will come out uh, like by getting your subject up close to the lens, relatively so and having the correct sort of specular background so you have this, wow, this shower curtain of a bubble bokeh. Depends on how much of it you want or don't want, obviously so. Um, this one, I think I got like eight copies of this. It's uh, This is the Auto Rekinen. It's a 55mm 1.4. Uh, most of these are radioactive. This is sold under Auto Sears. 5514. The Auto Sears is the exact same damn lens. Uh, they're made a little bit later. On obviously Sears never made lenses. Um, they average about 50, 60 bucks. Right now they're actually averaging like 80 bucks, which is a, a bit ridiculous. Um, let's see, 55 millimeter f 1.4, uh, 55 and 58 millimeter are always, by the way, regardless of bubble bokeh, superior lenses to uh, 50 millimeters. <clears throat> I should actually, I think I've already kind of made a video on this fact that uh, given a choice, every day. Uh, of every year, I'll always grab a 55 or a 58 millimeter instead of a 50. Um, 
That's not to say there aren't crappy 55s and 58s, but uh, nine times out of ten, the 55 or 58 is always superior to the best 50. Just a fact. Uh, this one's not too rare. This diminutive little lens, this Meyer Optic Gerlitz, is the uh, Primatar 50mm f3.5. Incredible soap bubble bokeh. Average is like 80 bucks. You can find them as cheap as 30. I think right now there's like 100, uh, one for on eBay for 130. These are all M42 mount lenses. Um, here we go. There's a lot of these too, and they average about 45, 50 bucks. This is available in a 50 millimeter 2.8, which this is, or a 50 millimeter 3.5. They both have almost identical bokeh. This is a really well-made lens. This lens is really old. This is a, this is a uh, Carl Zeiss lens. This is the uh, Jenna Tesser, a 50 millimeter f2.8. Um, another one like the older ones uh, that are easy to find. I think right now there's one for 300 bucks on eBay. It's the Primo Plan 58 millimeter 1.9. Absolutely incredible. Incredible uh, soap bubble bokeh. Um, yeah, the Primatar 53 3.5. Um, the other one which uh, should be here, and I have like six copies of it, is the Helios 58 millimeter. I, I can't stand the Russian crap. Just can't stand it. Everybody has a Helios lens, and the only reason they have it is because they don't know about these or they can't afford the really expensive ones. And I know Helios is a is a valid option. It's got nice soap bubble bokeh. The lens, however, never is sharp. I mean, these are not really sharp. Well, this is sharp, and so is that, actually, the Takamar. Um, the, the, it, Russian quality, okay? I lived in Russia. I used to be a Russian translator. Russian quality. That's really all that needs to be said. Just, it's crap. Um, I know it's a really cheap, decent alternative, and that it is an option for soap bubble bokeh. Swirly Boca, really more than soap bubble. It does have a soap bubble uh, quality to it, but it's uh, not uh, not specifically a soap bubble Boca lens. It kind of qualifies. There's an unknown dividing line there between puffy Boca. There's all sorts of Boca. There's cotton candy Boca, soap bubble Boca. Um, um, there's uh, onion ring Boca from uh, from mirror lenses, catadioptric Boca as meant. The list goes on and on. I made lists of the type of bokeh. Um, but anyway, these are readily available and they're cheap and uh, they will give you, if you're looking for soap bubble bokeh, um, for framing that subject in close and using those sort of specular background um, highlights to frame your subject. I mean, it's really beautiful. I actually absolutely love it. I'm actually a soap bubble bokeh junkie. Uh, I, I really am. I mean that seriously. So anyway, those are the lenses. By the way, everybody should own a Pentacon 50mm 1.8. Buy yourself a damn Pentacon 50mm 1.8. Um, at the very least, I know some people are reticent about buying radioactive lenses. I understand that. And all of these are radioactive. These are Takamar 55s. I understand that. Um, so that's it. But at least consider uh, like a Tessa... Jenna Tesser Zeiss. This is Zeiss lens. These are so cute. They're so well made. I've taken quite a few of these apart and fixed them and cleaned them. They're so well made. Talk about precision. Regrease them. Ah, uh, and they don't make stuff like this anymore. Well, they do if you buy uh, a Voigtlander or a Leica lens. So, there we go. I hope I was helpful. I'm feeling a little ill and tired, and so that's why my butt is dragging in the dirt, as it were. Uh, it must have been that uh, Mongolian beef that I had. That must have been what did it. It did me in. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like these videos. If you do, click the link below. Any donation is uh, much appreciated or join Patreon. I want to thank you so very much. And let me know what I could do to help you in any way, shape, or form. Thank you. Goodbye.